Lord Byron once said, adversity is the first path to truth. Welcome to McBain Moments. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the manor. Make sure you take a moment and subscribe down below. We are on the road to 13 million subscribers, one subscription at a time, so make sure you subscribe. Also, consider going over to patreon.com slash Julian McBain if you want to support my work. If you become a member, you will get my new ebook, Personal Finance for Gamers. Okay, adversity. Lord Byron hit on something that I think is one of the hardest ideas for us to grasp. Adversity is the first path to truth. A lot of people think of adversity as something to be avoided, something to be dealt with as it comes, but not something to look out for. Um, taking challenges is a necessary evil, so to speak. And I have found that this is actually a misunderstanding of what adversity is really meant to be. You should voluntarily take on challenges that are laid before you. Because it is through that adversity you learn more about yourself. So I've, I've banged on and on in various videos about rites of passage. And that's the, that's the most notable form of taking on voluntary adversity in order to grow, to learn truth about yourself. But there are other forms of doing so. Uh, something else I've said is... If it scares you, you should probably be doing it. That internal adversity is what really teaches you who you are. It's not just the external adversity where you go and do something hard and you deal with you know, some, some th easily measured challenge, right? Go out and, and spend 10 minutes in the ring and don't drop out or... Um, manage to solve 500 math problems in under an hour or become a chess master or become a black belt at some martial art or make 70 dials oh, I guess you can't do that in an hour make one dial every two minutes for two hours which by the way is really brutal if you've ever been in telemarketing um, but it is they're, they're all about overcoming external adversity. Well, internal adversity is no less prevalent, but it's far more insidious. And every time you overcome an internal adversity, you learn something about yourself. I was talking to a friend about, you know, the, why some humans we are wired to have things like anxiety or depression. These are all internal adversities. You know, why would we be wired that way. Well, these are challenges that we have to overcome to become our best selves. And the the thought process was is if if we are meant to become our best selves, let's, let's say that there was some sort of creator. You know, as a as a Freemason, I do believe that there is a some sort of creator, the, the great architect of the universe. Um is what we call it in Freemasonry, but some form of God. And, I mean, you can be as agnostic as you want about that. It doesn't matter. The, the idea is is that in for the purpose of this conversation, if there was a God, why would they create humans to be wired in this manner? And my thought was we become stronger through the challenges we face. We learn more about ourselves through the challenges we face. The more challenges we face, the more wisdom we gain, the more things we know, the more competent we become, the stronger we become. And so I believe that it, we're not hardwired that way, but the, the traumas that we experience throughout our lives create this internal adversity that becomes part of our story, becomes part of the way that we learn the truth about ourselves. Um, and so by learning that truth about ourselves, learning how our own mind works, we become better at all aspects of our lives. And that doesn't mean we should go out seeking traumatic experiences. That would be fundamentally a dumb idea. Although to a certain extent, there are people who do that, including myself. When I worked in emergency services, that's all emergency services is. Is you accept the traumas that you are going to walk into 
so that you can help others. When I went into it, I actually had a, a, a somewhat different objective. I wanted to help others. Don't, don't think that wasn't the case. But part of it was I wanted to subject myself to those traumatic experiences so that if I ran into it involuntarily, I would have the tools necessary to overcome the traumatic experience. And I didn't realize that that was what I was doing subconsciously at the time. I did not realize that's what I was doing subconsciously, but that's what I was doing. I was seeking, I thought I was seeking the adrenaline rush because let me tell you, there's nothing more adrenaline rushing than running into a firehouse with your gear on to jump into an engine expecting to be going into a vehicle accident or a building fire knowing that you could at any time be pulling people out of car wrecks, dealing with fires, dealing with leaking fluids that are explosive. I mean, it's it's an adrenaline rush. You don't get much more adrenaline rush than that except maybe, I don't know, a firefight or fighting. Fighting in general, actually, I find it uses more adrenaline. That's sports fighting, but not by a lot. Like, sports fighting, your life isn't really in danger. I mean, there's, there's a small chance that something critical could happen, but it's not really there. Uh, emergency services... A lot of situations you go into are are by their very nature potentially lethal. You know, if you're responding to a car accident on the highway, then you're going to be putting yourself out there where cars would generally go 65 miles an hour, and an inattentive driver might accidentally plow through you without even realizing what's going on. That's a rush, whether you want it to be or not. And so, through doing those things, through experiencing those those ex, the, those traumatic experiences through dealing with all of that adversity I learned things about myself and I'm not saying that's what you should do I'm not saying that you should sign up for your local fire department or ambu- your EMT service or search and rescue group although if you do great because all of those groups are generally shorthanded but what I am saying is that through that adversity I learned the truth about who I am or at least part of the truth about who I am and through finding other adversity, you will also learn the truth about who you are, what your limits are, where you can get to. And those are things we should all think about trying to seek in the ways that we can seek them. And uh, always keep in mind, if it scares you, you should probably be doing it. This has been a McBain moment.